Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing on a Minecraft mod pack. Um, it seems pretty fun, it's called Farming Valley, I believe. And it's basically like um, a game called Stardew Valley, which you have to uh, like grow crops and grow um, your like business and everything and become friends with everyone. It's kind of what we're doing in this, except in a Minecraft and more blocky environment, so it should be fun. Uh, I tried to get a good world, and I just spawned this one. And so far, it looks like there is a lot of snow, so that's great. But um, we do have a tutorial book on how to get started, which I'm going to have to do that pretty soon. I don't think it's very hard to get started. You have to summon, like, some sort of a person. I don't know. I haven't really read up on this mod pack much, but it seems fun, so I decided to try it out. Um, yeah. The Harvest Goddess. So, find three vanilla flowers, one flower pot, one stick, and one bucket with water. Okay, three vanilla flowers. Not that hard. One back here flower child Jesus those fireworks are loud okay uh, there's two more poppies over here that's helpful one two and then three okay oh my gosh the fireworks are so loud these trees are huge by the way that one's over there is huge I actually might make a tree house that'd be cool okay Three vanilla flowers, one flower pot. Okay, let's see. Flower pot. Right there. Can I check how to make this? Yep. Bricks. Clay. Okay, so it's gonna take a minute. So I need clay, which shouldn't be that hard to find. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. This is clay, okay. And it's gonna take forever to mine, of course. And done. Four. That's more than enough. Okay. I need a crafting bench. There we go. Nope. Don't have that mod. <laughs> okay. And then I just need a pickaxe. Again, not that hard to make. Perfect. Okay. All we need now is three pieces of stone and then we're almost set to make this whole flower goddess or harvest goddess person summon the goddess of the harvest okay and three there we go actually never mind i lied we don't need three i was thinking of a pickaxe we need a furnace so we also need coal or we can just cook or yeah we can just put logs into a furnace and get some charcoal which I will do because that's the easier way to do it in this case just get it done quicker and done done done, done. Uh, put that there and then we should be getting ourselves charcoal to melt this into clay or cook it into clay either way and then that rhymed so my gosh I'm lagging okay there we go Okay, those guys should be good. What else did we need for this? Um, one more stick, a uh, bucket with water. That's gonna take iron, that's gonna be probably the hardest thing. So, those bricks should be good to go. Uh, we do actually need a stone pickaxe, I just figured out, because we need to mine iron, which I'm hoping we find pretty soon. Get my hopes up. So, there we go. Cobblestone, pickaxe, and then let's go mining for some iron. Still nothing. Oh, iron. Cool. There we go. Enough to make the bucket. Just a little bit more. Okay, is that it? Yep, that's it. Oh, yeah. And then the long trek all the way back up to the top. And there 
there we go. And we are here. Okay. We did all of this so far in the daytime. Which is good. Time efficient. So let's go there. Okay, what else do we need? So we have flower pot, our three vanilla flowers, one stick, and one bucket with water. Stick. Okay, there we go. Uh, one bucket with water is being made, and then the water's right here. What else do we need to do? Then make two holes. Okay. Simple enough. And I'm gonna wait for this bucket okay got ourselves the bucket got ourselves a bucket with water and then what else do we need to do now fill them with water okay place two flowers like that okay. actually these two need to go there one, two, there we go. Why do I keep going into my inventory? Okay, there we go. Place two flowers. Place down the flower pot in the middle. So again, simple enough. Okay. Oh my gosh, I went back into my inventory. Place the vanilla flower in the flower pot. The appropriate time to go into my inventory. Okay. And then, what else? There shouldn't be too much more, I don't think. Now keep right-clicking the flower pot with the stick. Now you get a new flower. Interesting. Okay. Sure do. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, the fireworks. Chill. Okay, take the new flower and drop it in the water. Ah. <laughs> fireworks are so loud. And drop it in there. Cool. What? Oh. Um. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading on. Uh, the goddess will now spawn. Speak to her to continue your journey. And then changing the difficulty decides your starting hearts. You can buy more max hearts at the church. Sheeps, cows, and chickens. Wait. Sheeps, cows, and chickens does not spawn. Interesting English. You must get them in your village. Make a canteen as fast as possible. It is easier to stay hydrated with it. If an NPC asks you for an item, hold it in the hand when talking with them. Pressing the gift button next to an NPC, gift your item in your hand to them. One season lasts 30 days in single player, 365 days in a server. Okay. Uh, that's crazy. Um. Okay, this book. Oh, that's the beginning. Okay. Oh, we read all of it. What do you have to tell me? Hello, my dear. I'm not sure if I recognize you. Have we met? Sorry, it's kind of hard to read this one. It's slowly going. Okay, is this your first time playing? Yes, it is. Well then, nice to meet you. I am the Harvest Goddess. I'd like to tell you a little story. A long time ago, this land we live in was filled with a bustling village. The people there were removed from their homes by a crazy storm and forced out of their homes. Wait, removed from their homes by a crazy storm and forced out of their homes. Now I hear that they want to return back home where they belong. That they need your help. Oh, and just to let you know, I will poof after a while. You can always respawn me with the goddess flower. I'll leave you one every time. Well, I'll leave, oh, I'll leave you one every time I, I leave. I think that's all I have to tell you for now. See you later. Okay. So, oh. Interesting. Apparently we only got four. I thought she only were gonna give me one. So, what do we have to do? Why, hello, my sweet. It's nice to see you again. I've had a little thought about how we can get the town started. I've heard rumors that a fella named Ulyph is an excellent carpenter. He and his sister have been looking to take on a project, and this 
could just be the right thing for them. Jade would be a perfect fit too, as she loves nature and would be a great asset for getting started. I think we just need something to entice them. Perhaps if you can fetch me two dozen logs, then I have something for you that just might work. <laughs> just work? Okay. So we need 24 logs. Inside lane, missing exits, include to the pavement between the lines. I keep my gaze straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire, no more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around. Okay, so I need the spawner again. There we go. Don't poof away. Don't know why I'm sing, sing like throwing these things out singularly, but whatever. Wait, so how do I, how do I do this? Did it work? Nope. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. Gift held item. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Okay. Gift held item. I really do appreciate it, but I cannot accept another gift from you today. Oh. Coolness. Okay, so, as I was talking about earlier, there is a little bit of a flat area over here in which I can place the carpenter dude. It's kind of a cool little blueprint thing. So, I'm probably gonna get a sword just so that I can fend stuff off while I'm building. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be the start to our little town. Uh, cobblestone sword. There we go. It's probably gonna be a cobblestone path. Wait. Press L with a weapon slash armor in hand to get started. L. What the heck? Ability tokens? That's. Enemies on Whoa. One eternity later. Oh. I died. Cool, everything's still here. The goddess flowers are still here. My carpenter guy is still here, that's good. Sword. Let's get this thing out. Oof. Oof. Bucket. So, specifically because we do not have keep inventory on, sorry I'm lagging, but um, specifically because we don't have keep inventory on, I am going to keep um, death points on. Not so that I can teleport to them, but just because if anything were to happen that I needed to teleport just to save my progress so that it doesn't delete like a blueprint, um, then I will teleport to it. But yeah, that's just in an emergency thing. Okay, well, I almost just got blown up by a creeper, which would have been awesome. Um, she's still here, okay. So, I don't quite know the best way to get to the top of that mountain. I'm hoping that it won't take too much, but I think that that's not going to happen. So I will build my house down here and just kind of flatten out the whole land. Um... I'm hoping that, that will work and we should be good to go hopefully I'm gonna make it on this platform because there's not too much to clear out on top of it but it's decent hello everyone this is future me coming back to explain what's happening in this time-lapse so what happened in the time-lapse was that um, I tried three separate times to try and get the carpenter's house to build itself but every time for some reason it would like bug out and would not build so what I had to do was re-log the mod pack and then um, hop back on, and that is what actually worked. And so there will be a little bit of a bonus clip at the end, 
that shows me, um, or at least the building being built by the carpenter. It's pretty cool, so you might want to stick around and watch that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Still